Welcome to Frequency Missing. This game is played in landscape mode with the home button to the right. Main menu. Continue. New game. Help. Do you want to play the tutorial one more time? Yes. In Frequency Missing, you can explore menus and the game world by dragging one finger across the screen to listen for objects. When you find an object you want to use, release your finger. Remember to wear your headphones correctly to separate right and left, right and left. Now you will try to find an object in the game world. Hold down one finger on the screen. You can now hear a person whistling. Drag your finger toward the sound until you hear a click. Good. Now, release your finger to select the object. Hello. Perfect. You found a person and have started a conversation. Hold down one finger on the screen and move it up and down to hear topics to choose from. Release your finger to select. Now, give it a shot. Try to talk about the weather. Economy. Sports. Dancing. Economy. The weather. The weather is great. Good. Now choose bye and let's move on. Beverage, food, travel, bye. Bye. Good. That's it for the tutorial. Now choose New Game in the menu to start the game. Main menu. Help. New Game. If you start a new game, your previously saved game will be overwritten. Are you sure you want to start a new game? Yes. The game autosaves, so you can pick up where you left off. Oh, my head. What happened? Where am I? It's so dark. Ouch! I'm locked in! Help! Is someone there? Ugh, I probably shouldn't have done that. If they hear me, they might knock me out again. I hear some rattling. If I feel around, I might be able to locate where that noise is coming from. I might be able to pry it loose with my hands. There we go. Hmm. It's still locked. Maybe there are more screws. Another screw! It's starting to give way. Chapter 1. Three Days Earlier. April 13th, 8.35 a.m. My first day at work as a reporter for Radio IDUN. Richard would have welcomed me and showed me around, but he disappeared three days ago. I'm really worried. Carl might know something about where he is. Hi, Carl. How's it going? Oh, hi, Patricia. Just fine. How are you settling in? New at work. It's a lot to process in a short amount of time. Yes. Something on your mind? Carl's job. I don't think I've asked you what you do around here. That's all right. I work as a fact checker and audio technician. What does a fact checker do? I check that all the facts are correct. And as an audio technician? I make sure that your segments sound good on the air. The radio station. Carl's job. The radio station. Well, I got a quick tour yesterday, but maybe you can tell me more about the radio station. I don't know what to say. The building is a bit much for my taste. It was originally built as a royal library, apparently. I'm sure Monica at the reception can tell you more about the station. Carl's job. The radio The chief. The chief has barely had time for me yet. What is he like? He can be a bit difficult to deal with sometimes. He wants to be one of the crew and make good broadcasts, but he also wants to make his bosses happy. Oh, 
He's not in charge? No. He only runs our department, even if he sometimes acts like he runs the whole station. The chief. Enough about work. Thank you. Knew it. Knew it. Richard. Have you read the newspaper today? N no. What's on your mind? It said the police have closed the investigation on Richard's disappearance. What? No one has seen him in three days. I know! They claim there's no indication that a crime has been committed. How can they not care about what happened? I'm sorry. I know you're good friends. Is there anything I can do? Thank you, but I don't think so. I was so happy when he got me this job and was really looking forward to working with him. Richard's job. Richard's disappearance. Do you know anything about Richard's disappearance? No, nothing. I was going to snoop around in his office, but someone had locked it. Do you think there's anything in there? I don't know. But he spent a lot of late nights in his office. I thought maybe he had left some notes about what he was working on. Richard's disa Richard's job. Do you know what he was working on? Some stories, but nothing that would explain his disappearance. You spent a lot of time together. He never told you anything? No, but I got this feeling he wanted to tell me something but couldn't. I thought it might have something to do with what he was working on. Richard's, Richard, Richard's job. Enough about Richard. Richard's job. Enough about- Thank you. Richard. Goodbye. Thanks, Carl. I'll see you later. Goodbye. Carl, what is that device? It doesn't look like an ordinary tape recorder. Nope. I built it myself. I use it to edit your broadcasts. It's pretty ingenious if you ask me. The lobby. The radio station's lobby. Grandiose and awe-inspiring. You can't help but be impressed by it. The radio station's receptionist. Hello, Monica. Good morning, Patricia. What can I do for you? Cope the radio station. Cope the how many people work here? Well, we have uh, 60 employees, the biggest and best radio station in the country. Work, the office. Where does everyone sit? The management use the top floors, of course. They enjoy the view, you see. Down here's the newsroom. You can find some of the reporters, audio technicians, and the department chief here. Between us and the top, there are more reporters and administrators. The office. Work. What is everyone doing here? Well, most of them are reporters like you. There's a lot that goes into making good broadcasts, so we also have several audio technicians and lots of administration. Work. My job. Do you know what I'm supposed to do here? Huh. Don't you know? Yes, but the chief just told me to get acquainted with the station. I suppose you'll start with a few small stories here and there. But regardless of what you get to do, you should be proud and happy you're working for this fine radio station. Work. My job. Enough about- Thank you. Coworkers. The radio station. Coworkers. What can you tell me about our colleagues? Who do you have in mind? The chief. What is the chief like? He's an orderly man that knows how to take charge. But between you and me, he can be a bit grumpy sometimes. Oof. The chief. Carl. What's Carl like? He's a fun guy that gets along with pretty much everyone at the station. Officially, he's a fact checker, but he mostly works on the audio for the broadcasts. Carl. Stephanie. Apparently Stephanie will be my mentor. What is she like? Oh, is she going to be your mentor? She's pedantic, very skillful, and a respected news anchor. But if you ask me, she can be a bit stuck up sometimes. Carl. Stephanie. 
enough about Kali. Thank you. Cowork, Richard's disapp- Do you know anything about what's happened to Richard? Well, not more than anyone else, I believe. The police were snooping around here a few days ago, and I and I and now I'm reading that they don't think a crime has been committed. Snooping? It's good that they investigated, but they could have done it without disturbing everyone. To be honest, we didn't get along very well. He was a very good reporter, but he didn't always think the rules applied to him. Richard's disappearance. Goodbye. Thanks, Monica. The door to the newsroom, where all the broadcasts are made. Hold it! We're broadcasting live! You need the Chief's permission to go in there! Richard's office. It's locked. Could there be a clue to his disappearance in there? The Chief's office. A well-furnished office that smells of leather and cigars. Right, and that negotiations are moving forward, but it is a radio. He's listening to the broadcast from the newsroom. I suppose he needs to keep an ear on things. Excuse me, Chief. Do you have a minute? Yes, one minute. What do you want? Richard has disappeared. What do you know about Richard's disappearance? Only what the police have said. And what is that? Nothing. Aren't you concerned about your employees? Of course I am. There's just not a whole lot I can do about it. We've got radio to produce. I don't have time to worry about something that's out of my hands. I'm sorry, I know the two of you were friends. But you're the manager. You can't just sit there and hope for the best. Careful now. Richard's recommendation is the only reason you're here. Richard has disappeared. Locked office. Why is Richard's office locked? The police have already investigated it. They didn't find anything. You have to understand, I don't want other people running around in there causing even more trouble. They must have missed something. Are you doubting the police's competence? Stop meddling with things you don't understand and go do your job. I don't have time for all these questions. A key cabinet. Get away from there. Do you often rummage through other people's belongings? Hmm. The key to Richard's office is probably in there, but I'll never get to it as long as the chief is here. I really don't have time for you right now. Go to the newsroom. Maybe you can learn a thing or two about live broadcasting. The conflict in the South is... The lobby. The newsroom. Monica, the chief said I could go in. All right, just be careful and don't do anything to disturb them. The, world leader the newsroom. The Furnishings the are simple and functional. The it's the heart of the station. Greywood Steel has a new manager. I'm Stephanie, your host, with today's news. Stephanie is in the speaker music. booth doing a live broadcast. Apparently, she will be my mentor, now that Richard is gone. The lobby. The chief's office. I told you to go to the newsroom. The lobby. The newsroom. Today's news. The Prime Minister opened this year's environmental summit by addressing the assembled hmm, world leaders. A large a switch. Statement. Do I dare pull it? Looks bright, and that yes. Are moving forward, but it is too early no. to draw any conclusions. Yes. In international news. What the heck are you doing? What are you doing, Butterfingers? You just interrupted a live broadcast. I'm sorry. I lost my balance and fell on the switch. Get out. 
Probably not the smartest thing I've ever done, but it should keep him busy for a while. The chief's office. A radio. It's tuned into our station, but the broadcast has been <clears throat> interrupted. I suppose I'm lucky I can't hear what's going on in that room right now. Hmm. This key looks like it could open the door to Richard's office. I don't care whose fault it is. It's your job to make sure these things don't happen. I'm sorry, Stephanie. We're working as fast as we can. It's good of you to remind me. <clears throat> we had some temporary technical difficulties, but they're now taken care of and we will continue with the broadcast. Oh, the broadcast is up and running again. I better get out of here. Today's news. The Prime Minister opened this year's environment the lobby. by addressing the extended... Richard's office. I hope I brought the right key. Yes! Patricia versus Locks, one nothing. Richard's office. Okay, let's see what you're hiding from me. A stapler, a tape roll, paper clips, and some blank pages. More or less what you'd expect to find on a desk. Nothing here that tells me what happened to him. Richard's noteboard. Nothing of interest there. Hold on. There's a VIP card to the Duke Silverglans Club. I didn't know he was a member there. Isn't that a bit too expensive and exclusive for him? <gasps> I just noticed that the painting is a bit crooked. There's a safe hidden behind it. I doubt the police would have left it alone if they had found it. I might need some assistance opening it. Richard's safe. I need help opening it. The lobby. Carl's in my office. Carl! What is it? I managed to get into Richard's office. Someone had turned the place over, but unlike me, they didn't find the hidden safe. We have to open it. Nice! I have an idea. Should we go to his office? Yes. Yeah, let's go. Here, take this contact microphone, place it on the safe, and you might be able to hear when it unlocks. Wouldn't it be quicker if you did it? You found it, so it's only fair that you open it as well. I'll keep watch and let you know if someone's coming. Okay, Richard. Let's see what secrets you've hidden in here. So, uh, how do I do this? With the contact microphone, you should be able to hear the click from the locking mechanism. When you hear the clunk of the locking bar, you should stop and drag in the other direction. I think these kind of locks usually start to the right, so drag to the right until you hear a clunk, then switch directions. Keep doing that until the safe is open. No, I think I missed. You'll have to start over and go to the right. These kind of locks probably reset if you do it wrong. Yes! Patricia versus locks, two nothing. Now let's see what you thought was worth hiding, Richard. What did you find? A tape. I wonder what's on it. Hmm. We better listen to this in our office. Let's load the reel into my tape recorder and hear what secrets are hidden on it. 
Well, what's wrong with your tape recorder? It's not my recorder, it's the tape. I'm not entirely sure how I'll fix it. You'll have to give me a few days. <laughs> I told you guys we're gonna have to wait for it. So, what do you guys think's gonna happen next? Uh, leave something in the comments, anything. I already know it's gonna happen, but I think it's just cool to hear from you guys. So, I will upload part two probably at some point today. Um, and yeah, adios amigos, bye.